So now let's talk about uh, discrepancies between two measurements. So a discrepancy is the difference between the best estimates of the two measurements. So let's say we have measurement one of some resistance that says we found 15 plus or minus one ohm. Uh, measurement two says or indicates that we found 25 plus or minus two ohm. So the discrepancy now is 10 ohm, the difference between 15 and 25. So the question now is what to do with this discrepancy. The discrepancy can be significant if the uncertainties are small. And you can sort of see how this goes here. Um, if, we, if we think of the two measurements, um, so we have our, our resistance measurement in ohm here. Um, we have our first measurement at 15. So let's do so 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, so we have one measurement here with an uncertainty of 1, and then we have a measurement here with an uncertainty of 2. Um, so you can see that both of those measurements are significantly in disagreement. The discrepancy between the two is um, significant. Now let's imagine we actually were looking at 10 and 20 ohm here, then of course the uncertainty here would have been... Um, like this, the uncertainty on the point at 25 would have been probably something like this. So suddenly the discrepancy is not significant anymore because um, the difference, you know, both of those um, experiments, there, there's plenty of true values that are in an area where, um, uh, where they're in agreement or, or where they are consistent with, um, with each of those measurements. Um, in the case of, uh, of the, the significantly different measurements, so let's uh, go back to the black points that I drew initially. So here, of course, um, it indicates that one of these experiments must be wrong um, or must have an uncertainty that is wrong. Uh, and that is what it means when um, there's a significant discrepancy um, between the two measurements. So when might this occur? Um, so uh, there's a couple of things we might do in, in labs. Um, one is uh, comparing measured values with accepted values. And the other one is measuring um, or comparing two measurements and comparing those with each other. So um, measurements or so comparisons of measured values with accepted values is the first one. So now we first have to determine what is what is this accepted value. Um, so an accepted value is is essentially the world's the world's average value. Uh, what the, what the entire community in the world has settled on as a good average value, um, which will typically have a low uncertainty, a small uncertainty, not a zero uncertainty, but this will typically be a smaller uncertainty than, uh, than you can get to in a, a simple teaching laboratory exercise. Uh, it might be 10, uh, 100 times smaller, uh, but that is what the world's best laboratories um, have uh, have been able to achieve. Just measuring in our lab a measured value is of course not useful. Um, what will be useful is m comparing these measured values with the accepted values. Are they in agreement or is there a discrepancy? So the conclusion of your lab reports will have to include a statement on 
the discrepancy or the agreement of your measured value from the accepted value. So conclusions of the lab have to assess discrepancy or agreement. And I'm presenting this here as though there's no discrepancies that go into these world's average values. Um, obviously, uh, in, in the history of science, there have been many cases where there are measurements that, that are ne not necessarily internally um, in, in agreement. Uh, but over time, usually those discrepancies are, uh, are resolved and uh, um, the scientific community comes to a consensus around one world average value. So right now, um, in my research, there's, there's two different values for the, the lifetime of the neutron, um, and they're significantly different. There's about, uh, uh, the difference between the central values is about nine times as large as the size of the uncertainty on each of the individual points. Um, so that is significant. Those points are definitely looking kind of like this, probably about the same size of the difference between them. Um, so, uh, so that's where the community is now working on trying to resolve that discrepancy. So similarly, you'll have to uh, make a statement about um, the discrepancy um, or the agreement between your measured value and the accepted value. So this is comparison with accepted values. The other thing you may find yourself doing in lab is comparison of two measured values. Um, and if you're comparing two measured values, um, what you're doing is, uh, in, in some sense, you're testing the hypothesis that the two values are different. Um, and so the null hypothesis is that they're not different. Um, and you're trying to find out whether these two measurements um, are describing uh, are the, the, the same value or if they're describing something different. Um, what we'll want to do in those cases, let's say we have a value x with an uncertainty delta x, and we have a value y with an uncertainty delta y. Um, the, the discrepancy between the two is x minus y. And if you think about taking that difference here, um, what you'll find is an uncertainty on that difference that looks kind of like delta x plus delta y. Um, and I know that the, the textbook talks about this and indicates that you know this is a preliminary, this is for now the way we calculate this. Um, of course, you know that this is not what we're gonna do. Ultimately, we'll have dx squared plus dy squared with a squared root. Um, and this is what we'll actually, so let's call this final then. Um, so this is what we'll get to um, in chapter three is to calculate why that is the case. So again, to recap, um, discrepancies between two different measurements um, are the difference between the best estimates and they come with um, a certain uncertainty as well. Um, that uncertainty on those individual measurements indicates whether the discrepancy is significant as indicated here or whether it's not significant as I, as I showed earlier. Um, we'll need to do this, assess this discrepancy um, for comparison of your measured values with the accepted values, the world average, or to compare two measured values that are supposed to be the same or maybe supposed to be different.